In this video, you will learn how to use the Advanced Search feature in Library Search. Using Advanced Search can help you create more complex, targeted searches within Library Search. First, to navigate to Advanced Search, click the Advanced Search button at the top right of the Library Search box on the Library's homepage. The Advanced Search page gives you many options for using multiple search terms in your search and in selecting where you would like to search. First, let's do a known item search. A known item search is when you have a specific item that you are looking for. In this case, I want to find a book. I remember that part of the title is the word algorithms, and the author's last name is Noble, but I've forgotten the rest. I enter algorithms in the search bar and make sure that the field is title in the drop-down. I enter noble and make sure that the field to be searched is author. I also know that the item that I'm looking for is a book, so I'll scroll down the page and select book underneath the format field. I'm also pretty sure that the Claremont College's library owns this book, and so under the held by library field, I'll select the Claremont College's. The Claremont College's library search searches for items held in libraries around the world by default. If I wasn't sure if the book was held by the library, I would leave this field as libraries worldwide. If the book I wanted was found by my search but not owned by the library, I could request it via resource sharing. Let's search. And there it is, Algorithms of Oppression by Safia Umoja Noble owned by the Claremont College's library in both print and ebook. You can also use advanced search when you are looking for books or articles about a topic, rather than a single known item. This is called subject searching. I want to know more about bias in algorithms, and so I search algorithm as a keyword in the search field drop-down. I then add bias, also a keyword, and use a Boolean OR to add discrimination. Now, my search will retrieve any results that include the terms algorithm and bias or algorithm and discrimination. In this search, I'll leave the format dropdown on all formats. I'll adjust the publication year to 2005 to 2020, and I'll leave held by library to libraries worldwide to broaden my search. I will also choose which databases to search in. By default, the Claremont College's library search includes results from a limited number of databases, but you can actually add more databases to your search. For this search, I chose to add the ProQuest Dissertations and Theses database, since I know that there are many graduate students doing work in this field. And search. From here, I might choose to further narrow my search using the limiters on the left side of the page. Using advanced search allowed me to craft a precise search that gave me the search results I was hoping for. Check out the Start Your Research tutorial on the library website and the Claremont College's library YouTube channel to learn more about the research process and library resources and you can always contact the library via Ask Us or chat with more questions.